Hello team Dave there, another video that I've uh, made and uh, not turned the microphone on, so here we go again. So this uh, video is coming to you from the Ko Chang Resort here in Ko Chang. It's Monday the 20th of February. Okay, so this video is going to be basically about uh, why I'm so frugal, uh, why I'm so cheap. Uh, since I've been travelling, I don't really tend to buy anything. Uh, now, clothing wise, I bought an England shirt when I was uh, in Patea when the World Cup was on. And since I've been travelling over the year, I've had two pairs of flip flops. And that's all the clothing money I've spent this year. Uh, obviously I bought a load of stuff out with me so uh, I haven't needed to buy anything. Now, accommodation, uh, obviously something I've got to have. Uh, I tend to, it ranges, it's from £5 a night to £15 a night. Uh, on the odd occasion it'll be 20 uh, but very rarely. Uh, so it averages out about ten, eleven pounds a night. That's something I've got to got to buy, uh, spend my money on. And the other thing is uh, food and drink. Now I have a couple of beers most days. Uh, if I was running short of money, I would slow down on that one. But food-wise, whatever country I'm in, I will. I will eat the local food, I'll go to the street vendors, the small uh, restaurants and uh, and eat very cheaply like that. Uh, I'll have the occasional uh, steak or, or uh, McDonald's or, or whatever I fancy, if I fancy a bit of western food but uh, not very often. Uh, also I can get stuff from the supermarkets and eat back at my hotel if I want so uh, that tends to be fairly cheap the food I try to have a pretty good life uh, a simple life uh, but really I don't want to excessively spend things I tend to do tend to be free I'll sit by the beach go, go walking make videos and this vlogging for YouTube has been a godsend to me because it takes up so much of my time, uh, gives me something to do, and I enjoy doing it, and it's free. So, uh, and now uh, they're just starting to pay me, not very much, but they're starting to pay me, so uh, I'll actually make, make a little bit of money off it. But I think the trick is to find things to do that don't cost uh, anything to do. If you can do that, cheap living is pretty easy, really. Now, as for food, I mean, everyone's got to get the food and a few beers down on. So, uh, what I do with that, wherever whatever country I'm in, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tend to eat a lot of the local foods uh, from street vendors or small restaurants, come shops. It's just as cheap to do that as to buy ingredients and pay for your own and make your own stuff so uh tend to eat at a smaller restaurant uh only have a couple of beers every day so nothing too extravagant uh and if i was short of money i wouldn't do that so uh, uh but they're they're the two things that i've got to spend money on uh all the time while i'm here so i think that i uh, have a very frugal life. Don't really want uh, material things. I just want to want the basics and uh, and enjoy myself. I mean, if you look behind me, just fantastic views. Uh, so I'm getting all this, and it's free. It's not costing me anything to be here. So it's uh, 
It's, it's flesh gone, but I haven't bought anything. I'm at a resort, I can use this uh, just to sit here and uh, download videos. So, so I'll come down here, I just do views, and, uh, and it's free. Like I say, I've been keeping an eye on my spending over the last year. I, uh, I did a, a yearly budget where I spent around £12,000 per year. Uh, so from that I can work out what I need per uh, month, what I need per week, what I need per day. And uh, probably not to exceed that to, to, to often. Obviously if I've got to travel down, I've got to have buses, trains or planes, it goes over. Then I have other days where I spend less than uh, the planned daily budget. And uh, so that makes up for the travel days. That's basically why I'm cheap, Dave. I'm just very cheap. I just don't like spending any money. Uh, not on anything that I don't really need anyway. So, uh, yeah, cheap Dave is the right name, I think. Now, I feel that uh, I have a good life. I have a cheap life, simple life. Uh, and I don't really excessively spend. I love walking uh, and I do enjoy this hobby of making YouTube videos and it takes a lot of time so uh, it keeps me occupied. I see lots of uh, different places, I see some real uh, dumps and, and some really beautiful places. Uh, but it's not costing me any money to, to walk around uh, looking at this stuff, so uh, it's a good hobby to have. And then it takes me a few. So after the filming, I'll, I'll do a bit of editing and then downloading. And doing all this, it's not costing me any money. Living an expensive uh, lifestyle, I think, would seriously hinder uh, my ability to. Uh, to live the way I am living then and uh, obviously I have less money in the bank. So at the moment so I'm, I'm living off my savings. Uh, so every time I spend money it digs into my bank uh, to take the money away. So uh, obviously I want that to last and uh, the more I spend the less I've got in the bank to spend in the future. So I think the more money I spend at any one time, the less money I have in the bank uh, to use in the future. So uh, this is why I'm being a little bit careful with my money. Because once that money is gone, it's gone. There's no getting it back. So. So spend as little as possible. So if I don't have the money in the bank, I wouldn't be able to do everything that I really want to do because the money would be gone. And really, it's that simple. Spend the money too quickly and uh, I'd have to go home and uh, with no money. And uh, that wouldn't be good at my age. So. Uh, Got to make it last. Basically, I just want to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. So, as long as I've got money in the bank, I can do that. I believe you just have to compromise to balance things out uh, to make things work. If I spend money on one thing then the money's not there to spend on something else it's pretty simple really at the moment i'm pretty confident that i can cover my bills throughout the year uh, i've done one year under the budget i was expecting so uh, no reason i can't do the second year at a similar sort of price and the way I'm looking at it, I mean, I spent around £12,000 last year in total. Maybe a little bit more, but not much. 
Now, if I can do that for another year, 12, 15,000 this year, then I'm still well within my uh, original budget. I, I, I had budgeted for £20,000 a year, so, so I'm well in there. Uh, but if I can speed that up, I've only got just over two years and my state pension kicks in. So I'll be getting 10,000 off that. I've already got a pension that pays me eight. So I'll be on 18,000 a year. Uh, and that should cover the cost of me, uh, of me uh, being able to manage after that without uh, really digging into my savings and spending uh, lots of money that I've already got. Now I'm not rich by any means but uh, I managed to cover my bills uh, and the only reason I can do this is because I'm frugal in any way that I possibly can be. So the cost of living over here in Thailand isn't cheap uh, if you're going to have all the, the cars and you go to the, the, the bars and the, uh, the touristy areas, it's going to cost you a lot of money. But if you live on a frugal lifestyle, then uh, it's a lot cheaper than living in the UK. So, and a lot nicer scenery. Now, I don't tend to buy anything that I don't need uh, just for the sake of it. Uh, clothing, in the last year I've been here, I bought one England shirt, two pairs of flip flops. I only own one pair of flip flops, and, and once they break, I've got to buy another one. I should have a spare set, really, in case just in, uh, just in case uh, they do break. But yeah, so two pairs of flip flops and, and a football shirt, and that's all I bought clothing wise this year. And I've thrown a lot of this stuff away because uh, it's too hot to wear over here anyway. And I don't tend to buy things that I don't need. Uh, in the last year, clothing wise, I bought uh, one shirt. Two pairs of flip flops. Uh, I only own one pair of flip flops, and uh, basically, uh, I've thrown more clothes away because uh, they're too hot over here. So, uh, spending on uh, stuff like that, uh, I haven't had to do it. Uh, the only big spend I have has been my mobile phone. Uh, my old phone. The camera on it wasn't very good, so I so I decided because I'm blogging as a hobby, uh, I would get a phone with a decent camera. Uh, it cost me about six hundred and fifty pounds, and I think that was included in my last year's budget as well. So, uh, but uh, so I spent six hundred and fifty on a phone. Uh, Hopefully it'll last a long while. And because I'm doing the YouTube videos with the phone, uh, now the channel's been monetized, uh, I'm not earning a lot, but I worked out that uh, within a year to a year and a half, at the present uh, payments that uh, I'm going to be getting from YouTube, uh, the phone will be paid off, so, so it'll have paid for itself and I'll have enjoyed using it and uh, making better quality videos, hopefully. The things I do have, I try to take care of because uh, obviously if I break anything or, or lose anything, uh, I'm going to have to replace them. So uh, I do try to take care of all of uh, the stuff that I do have already. Even if I'm uh, spending time with friends, instead of going like bowling or the cinema or, or places like that, I prefer to go 
to one of the local street vendors and, and get a load of food in, get a load of beer in, and just have a few drinks together that way. And uh, obviously, you're going to save quite a bit of money doing that. So, frugal living isn't something I think about on a daily basis. Uh, it's just a way of life for me, right? It's just, it's just normal. Uh, it's a habit. Uh, it's the way I set myself up to achieve what I, what I want to achieve. And basically, it's a means to an end. There are some things that I do spend uh, money on. Uh, really, the only thing I've spent serious money on this year has been my mobile phone. Uh, cost me about £650. Uh, basically, I got it for my hobby. I, put, I got it because uh, I enjoy making these YouTube videos. I think without these YouTube videos, I would be, uh, I'd be so bored. I'd have loads of time on my hands doing nothing. I'd probably be an uh, alcoholic by now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, doing this vlogging it's a good thing uh, so I got this camera I know that uh, I got monetized on YouTube getting on nearly two months now I've earned about 50 quid off it so far so it's going to take me uh, a fair few months probably a year if I carry on getting uh, the payments uh, every month uh, probably take me a year to pay off the phone for at least uh, it's covering its own cost so now if you think you are a frugal person uh, I'd be very interested uh, to hear some of your tips uh, and tricks uh, on how you go about saving money so uh, Please get in touch. Let me know uh, if you uh, do anything or you advise me to do anything that could save me more money. Okay, so that's it from my frugal video here in Cote Chang. Please like, subscribe, press the bell button uh, and I'll be back with some other junk tomorrow. I'll just show you around where I am. So I'm in the beach bar at the Koh Chang Resort. Looking down the beach. Out to a few islands out there. Beautiful place. Thanks for watching.